headquarters. This is News Nation Prime with Marnie Hughes. And we start tonight with an update on the Love Triangle murder case, one that we have been following closely for weeks. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Marnie Hughes. It has now been six weeks since Caitlin Armstrong took off, accused in the murder of pro cyclist Mo Wilson. The U.S. Marshals have upgraded the status of this case to major, which basically means they are putting more resources into finding the yoga instructor. There have also been several major developments. First, we have learned that Caitlin sold her Jeep for about $12,000 before she was going on the run at a dealership near Austin, Texas. Police are now trying to follow that money trail, determine if she cashed the check and where did she do it. There is also a major reward being offered in this case, at last check, up to $21,000. And then there is this, new images tonight showing what Caitlin might look like if she changed her appearance, specifically her hair. Private investigator Jason Jensen has been working this case closely and is joining us tonight. Uh, worked with an expert to put forth these images. Uh, Jason, always good to have your time. Uh, her hair is very recognizable, long red curly hair. It's also the easiest thing to change to conceal her identity. Uh, walk us through different ways that she may look for the public to help in this case. Sure, sure. Thanks, Marnie. Uh, yeah, it, like you just pointed out, the thing that really struck people the most about Caitlin was her hair. So naturally, if she's going to want to go undercover and not be detected in the public by anyone, she's going to want to change that look. So that would be the first thing that she'll want to do. And in our prediction, since it was closer to a lighter color shade, that she would want to go darker. And since it was long locks of hair that she'd likely, and with no bangs for that matter, so we pictured that if she's going to try and conceal herself, she's going to want to have bangs or even introduce a bob look so that she completely transforms her look. As you can see from these images that my, my imaging expert, Michael Street, put together, uh, it's remarkable how much you can actually change your appearance just from changing your hair. But... You know, let's be honest, most most people, especially women, know that hair can really make your or break your look, right? Yeah. So the other things that, you know, we're going to pay attention to is that she's got these well-defined cheekbones. When she smiles, her cheeks really are, you know, detectable. So if you think you're looking at her, look to see if she, when she smiles, if her cheeks show. So that kind of her only telltale giveaway about her facial features. But if she's hiding in New York, we would imagine she's got a COVID mask on. People are going to hide their eyes, you know, so they don't look like they're shifty or, or concerned. If someone looks at them, they're going to wear sunglasses. So we had Michael put sunglasses on a couple of these examples just so that you can see if you see somebody that looks like that to, to pay close attention to see where they go and then maybe report that individual to the, your local law enforcement. Right. And just to point out, these images not coming from the U.S. Marshals, but they are putting a lot of resources towards finding her right now, Jason. Uh, they're not ruling out, in fact, that Caitlin Armstrong may be getting some help from someone she knows, whether it's a friend, a family member, an acquaintance. Um, tell us about what you've learned in terms of different potential aliases she may have been using in the last few weeks. Sure, sure. One of the things that we learned was that right after she sold the Jeep on May 12th, she was last seen hopping on a couple planes to get out of Texas and was last spotted at LaGuardia Airport on the 14th. So she was in New York from the 14th and then reported leaving uh, you know, Newark Airport on the 18th. So from the 14th through the 17th, she was there in New York somewhere. And we know that on the 17th, her sister, Christine Armstrong, in the area of uh, Livingston Manor, uh, all of a sudden decided that she needed a New York State driver's license. So, you know, if you're on the run and you want to get a hair color, you go to your sister. So we're wondering if she changed her appearance and went and got this new Christine driver's license and is running around the country using her sister's name because that would be the perfect legal cover, right? Instead of looking for Caitlin Armstrong out of Texas, 
you know, no one's suspecting uh, Christine or Elizabeth from New York. And I do want to point out, I have spoken to the U.S. Marshals extensively about this case. They will not confirm whether or not she used the alias of her sister, uh, but we have thrown that question out as they continue to investigate. Jason, there was that possible sighting that you and I have talked about at this campsite in New York. It's Camp Haven. What more can you tell us about this particular campsite? Right, right. That's where her sister is listed as a staff member there for communications. So I don't know how long she's been there, but definitely her image, the same image that she has on Facebook is the image they use for that website. It's a, you know, a retreat, if you will. It's really isolated. Uh, if, uh, you know, you could count on people to keep your presence there under wraps, then it's entirely possible that you could hide out there, but I don't know if anyone would uh, feel safe doing that. They'd probably run as soon as the name Livingston Manor came up. So mm. it might have been a plan to go hide out there, hang out with her sister. But And it, from, from long-term campers there, it's a place that you want to get away from. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.